Have you guys ever heard the saying that goes like, the grass isn't always greener on the other side? Well, that's something that Marquise Brown is currently finding out the hard way. What is going on Ravens flock? My name is Drastic and I want to welcome you guys to another video on my YouTube channel Flocking Ravens. So you guys know on this channel we talk about anything and everything that has to do with your Baltimore Ravens. And on today's video we are going to be talking about Marquise Brown and the trade that went down a year ago with the Arizona Cardinals. So as you guys know Marquise Brown got traded last year to the Arizona Cardinals for an exchange of a number one, well, a first round pick in the draft, right? Um, and a lot of players, I mean, a lot of fans were very upset about the pick. And the reason for that was because we knew what we were working with, with the um, players that we already had. So we knew we didn't have too much to work with. Outside of Mark Andrews, Lamar doesn't really have weapons, right? This was for the last four years. And the Ravens were kind of going somewhere when they drafted a Rashad Bateman. We got to see kind of the potential of what can be with a Rashad Bateman, Marquise Brown, Devin DuVernay, and a Mark Andrews. Now, it's not the best looking um, roster, right? Wide receiver core slash tight end. But that was the best, I guess, Lamar had to work with, right? That was the best we ever seen. So we were hoping to kind of keep that going. But when the draft came... And we all saw the announcement that Marquise Brown got traded to the Arizona Cardinals. Me and I'm sure every fan. Because there are some fans that the moment they saw it, they're like, good. We didn't want you anyways, right? But deep down, we all know that you guys did want Marquise Brown to stay. Because, like I said, you guys, all of us, we know we have very little to work with. So we can't afford... Marquise Brown leaving the Baltimore Ravens. Anyways, that was done, right? So once that trade was made, in everyone's mind, we're thinking, okay, Ravens are going to draft a wide receiver to replace Marquise Brown. Or they trade this pick away to which... It, you know, most likely that wasn't going to be the case. But the sec second option would have been we trade away this pick that we got from Arizona plus maybe another pick to acquire a, you know, a top tier wide receiver, right? But the Ravens didn't do that. The Ravens went another route and they decided to fix the big hole that we had in our O-line pretty much, right? Which came to the um, center, Tyler Linderbaum. The Ravens managed to get him. And at the time, everyone was upset, right? But looking back at it today, I think we can all agree that that was the best decision EDC made as far as what to do with that pick, right? Um, so Linderbaum definitely came to Baltimore and, you know, he fit right in with, with the culture, with the team, with the players, with the fans, everything, right? I think perfect fit. Now for Marquise Brown, everyone, including Marquise Brown, 
thought that, okay, he's definitely going to a better situation, right? Because Marquise Brown's big thing was that he didn't get the ball enough. The, the system wasn't favored to a wide receiver, right? So when you think about the Arizona Cardinals, you know that they, they're heavy on, on passing plays. Um, so the, the style of play fits Marquise Brown better, right? So we were all like, okay, he's going to a better situation. And obviously Marquise Brown was like, all right, I played with this guy before. This is my friend. I'm going to go over there. And we're going to do the same thing we did back then. Boom. So here goes Marquise Brown to the Arizona Cardinals, right? We'll get back to that in a bit. But before all of that, in this trade between the Baltimore Ravens and the Arizona Cardinals, the Ravens won that trade. Because everyone knows this is no shot at Marquise Brown. Because had we had a better offense coordinator, maybe even a better head coach, I think Marquise Brown with Lamar could have had like a lot of success because they weren't awful together, but just the plays that were being called and everything, it kind of makes you look at it like Marquise Brown wasn't, wasn't all that, wasn't there, right? But in reality, Marquise Brown is a very good, talented player, right? Just our system didn't fit right for a Marquise Brown, and to be honest, even with the Lamar Jackson, but Lamar Jackson being the star that he is, he makes anything look great, right? So anyways, Ravens, we win that trade. Shout out to EDC. He managed to get a first round for a Marquise Brown, and um, Marquise Brown is on his way. Marquise Brown was on, like, he's been done with, with this team like yesterday, because the moment this announcement <laughs> goes on air, an hour later, I don't know, Marquise Brown is already touching down in Arizona. So he's like, I've, peace out, out of here. Thank you, Be More. I'm out, right? Because he's obviously thinking like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm going to a better situation. Now I'm going to, you know, succeed and prove everyone wrong and this and that and whatever right so he goes to Arizona right now that he's in Arizona all right I land here not even a month in and I'm already like getting a felony pretty much on just like for speeding right and then right after that when you look at your team before leaving be more you you're you already knew okay I'm going to Kyler Murray and you have Andy Isabella you got DeAndre Hopkins, and so on, right? So you're thinking, okay, we have a good roster, right? But then the news comes out that DeAndre Hopkins, or I think that even came out before, I don't know. I think it came out after, but DeAndre Hopkins is suspended for six days, right? I mean, six games because of some pills he took and he failed like some drug tests, but I don't, I don't really understand that because he took those pills to speed up his recovery and even to help aid the recovery process, right? So anyways, we're, that's a whole other subject for another video. But um, DeAndre Hopkins gets suspended for six days. Marquise Brown is nice, but I don't think Marquise Brown could ever fill those shoes. But that's expected out of him because they gave up a first round for uh, Marquise Brown. So obviously when they uh, gave that up, they didn't expect him to take over DeAndre Hopkins' um, spot or fill, fill in those shoes, right? But that comes with that, right? And he did his thing, but you could obviously see when the season started, he was struggling. And I honestly feel like he had more success with Lamar. I feel like his numbers were better with um, Lamar and Marquise rather than um, Marquise and Kyler Murray, right? So then um, DeAndre Hopkins is ready to come back. Week six already passes. 
And I I believe they played maybe one or two games. Or maybe it was even like a week before he was able to come back. But Marquise Brown gets injured. I take all of these things as a sign, right? That maybe the decision he made was not the best. Because everything that is happening is for the worst and for the worst. And all these blockage, right? If it's not with him, it's with someone else. So when he starts come, getting ready to come back, you know, he's he's rehabbing and doing all of these things. All right, he comes back. Then Kyler Murray goes down for the season. So it's sad because I don't even think he got the 1,000 yards for that season that he was trying to get. But you ask so many times to get traded and you got what you wanted, but it wasn't what you thought it was going to be. So like that saying goes, the grass is not always greener on the other side. Um, I think that's a fact, especially with a Marquise Brown, because you ended that year bad and you're hoping for the, for the best this coming season. But let's be honest, you don't even know if Kyler Murray is going to be throwing the ball to you starting the season you don't know you don't know who's throwing the ball because he might be ready but there's a good chance that he's not going to be ready by the start of the season so you already have that and let's just say that he is ready by the time you um the season starts right the locker room is not good because near the end of the season you saw the commotion between a Kyler Murray and a DeAndre Hopkins. You were right there. You were there. You were standing behind them very awkward. Like you didn't even know what to do with yourself because it was so it was so clear that you were uncomfortable because of all that tension, right? That tension grew so much that no matter what DeAndre Hopkins says, the tension was so much that he wanted out of Arizona. One way or the other, DeAndre Hopkins wanted out. And like I said in the other video, I think there was some sort of contract or some sort of trade pretty much set in stone with the Ravens. But the moment the Ravens saw that they could get a Zay Flowers, they jumped the gun on that. And they forgot about DeAndre Hopkins. That's what I think. But whatever. DeAndre Hopkins wanted out of Arizona. He tried, I guess, to shop around. I don't know. What, but at the end, it didn't happen, right? So he claims that he's happy to be back. He never wanted to leave and all of these things. But we all know the truth. So much was already displayed in front of us with that argument that he had with Kyler Murray. And then with him doing those interviews of what, what team he would like to go to. Too much is done for him to come back. I don't think that's easily going to be repaired. I don't think things go back to normal like as if nothing happened. No. Um, any little mistake that Kyler makes from this point on is going to be blown in his face. Because the tension is still there. And it's going to still remain there from week one all the way to week 17. It's still going to be there. There is no running away from that. So you're already, you have already teammates that don't want to be there. There's nothing worse than working with someone that does not want to be there. Everyone can agree with that. Anyone that has ever had a job, you guys know, there is nothing worse than working with somebody that does not want to be in that building. And DeAndre Hopkins does not want to be in that building. A lot, I honestly feel like a lot of players don't want to be. Hollywood Brown I, I can't see, aside him just wanting to hang out with Kyler Murray, I don't see why you would want to be in that building. Had you had more communication with Lamar and had more trust, right? Because that's, that's supposedly what, um, you know, your relationship with Lamar is, right? Big trust and all that, right? Had you had more trust with Lamar and the Baltimore Ravens and you communicated more with Lamar what you want to do and all of that, because you could say what you want, but I... I really think that Lamar told, 
you know, uh, Marquis not to leave. Things are going to change because every time Marquis made a, uh, through a fit, a tantrum that he wasn't getting the ball, he's tired of the system and this and that. Next game, all you see is Lamar feeding Marquise Brown the ball. Boom, boom, boom. That's all you see. Even forcing it sometimes just to satisfy him. And like I said, had you had more patience and you just communicated this with Lamar, ran it by him, I think you would still be in Baltimore and you would you would have had that privilege of winning a ring with a Lamar Jackson. Because with, with Kyler Murray, this man has zero excuses. He's had weapons from the beginning of his career and he's done nothing with it. You've seen what Lamar Jackson has done with nothing. You've seen it. So if Kyler hasn't done anything with the weapons he's had from the beginning of his career till now, what's going to change? Nothing. Nothing's going to change. Nothing is going to change. Just because Aaron Rodgers left the NFC, nothing is going to change. Nothing. You guys are not doing anything. So you're waste. You're literally wasting your time. You have Kyler Murray for like another five years. I don't know how long he got signed to, but you got to play with this man for another five years. And in those five years, I guarantee you nothing is going to happen. Not a thing. But had you stayed with Lamar Jackson in Baltimore, you you would actually be looking forward to starting the season. You would act because right now there's no way you're looking forward to week one or any of the season there is no way but had you been in Baltimore you would have been hyped you would have been like yo I can't wait but it is what it is you got impatient that backfired on you and I wish it didn't but it did and that's part of I guess um the the issue that he's going through because it doesn't just end there man I mean it being in Arizona has to be an embarrassment because when you look at even the drama that happened with Kyler Murray's contract, <laughs> where they said part of the clause or whatever was that he had to put in certain amount of hours because, you know, pretty much he doesn't like to study and study film and he, he prefers to like play video games and whatever. Yo, that's an embarrassment. Like that's your quarterback, bro. That's your quarterback. So I've never heard of anything like this in a contract other than with this guy. That's who you chose. Like, you had to tell the Ravens, I want to go to Arizona. And they did that. You chose that. That's your quarterback. In this contract, it's like you have to give us X amount of hours to get paid pretty much. Because they don't believe he... You know, he's doing that. He's more focused on video games. And that's not even a jab. That's not me trying to just make a weak joke. No, no, no. That's a fact. You know that's a fact. I mean, it clearly shows on the field. It shows. So you go through that embarrassment because I know you've seen all the memes that was all the memes that was going around in uh, social media, Twitter, my, uh, not MySpace, um, <laughs> Twitter, uh, Facebook, YouTube, all that, right? You've seen all those memes that was going around, and I don't see how you're not embarrassed. Like, that's a very embarrassing thing to go through. That's one. Another. You got the person, whoever's in charge of the social media for the Arizona Cardinals. You got them literally putting a target on your back. You and the whole team because they want to be funny. And I made a video on this already, kind of. I talked about it a little bit in the last video I made, right? Where I told you guys, if us as fans get offended or get upset about the picture or the meme that was posted um, with Lamar Jackson's picture and um, the song Running Back. How do you think Lamar Jackson is going to feel towards that picture? How do you think Lamar Jackson's teammates are going to feel towards that picture? Because you guys know how hard every player goes for their quarterback. 
every player goes super hard for their quarterback. Like no one can even look at their quarterback wrong. You, you're a, you play in the NFL, so so you know that that's a real thing. People pro, like these players protect their quarterbacks in every way. You know, um, so the Ravens seeing this, they're going to yeah. Yo, remember when Miles Garrett? <laughs> Did that thing in Halloween with the Lamar Jackson and all, all these quarterbacks? You remember what Lamar Jackson did to Miles Garrett that game. Yo, he made him look crazy. Lamar didn't speak on that. I don't even know if he was asked, but if he was asked about it, Lamar was quiet about it. But when it came down to playing the Browns, y'all remember... Where you had <laughs> you had Miles Garrett chasing him across the whole field, like back and forth. And then after a minute or so, Lamar decides to throw the ball to Mark Andrews. And then whoever was covering Mark Andrews was holding him. There was a flag thrown on holds, but Mark Andrews still caught it with one hand. I know y'all remember that. But that whole game you guys saw how crazy Lamar made um, Miles Garrett look. So they see that, and all they do is circle the day that they're going to play that team. So what do you think is going to happen when the Ravens go to Arizona? And that's not even your fault, but that's the team you picked to go to. So that's why what you your decision was the worst decision of your career. Because if you thought you were doing bad in Baltimore... Yo, my guy, whatever is going on in, in Arizona, trust me, it's nothing better. Because you went from one bad situation to another bad situation. Because our problem in Baltimore is 95% of our problem is coaching staff. Because we have decent players, including a Marquise Brown. We have decent players. We have a great quarterback. But our coaching staff... No bueno. So you decide to go to Arizona, right? Where you have very good coaching staff. I don't care what they say. Kyle Murray could get whoever they want fired. No, it's not the coaching staff. They have good coaching staff. They have great players, but they don't have a great quarterback. If Lamar Jackson goes to the Arizona Cardinals, they're building statues for Kyler. The bar is that low. If Lamar Jackson goes to the Arizona Cardinals, yo, they'll, they'll build pyramids for Lamar Jackson f because of what he's going to do for that, for that state, for that city. Pyramids. They'll build pyramids for him. So Arizona is another bad situation because they got a bad quarterback. And they resigned them for another five years. I'm not saying um, Kyler Murray is trash, but he's average, and he's a little bit in my in my eyes, he's a little under average, to be honest with you guys, because he has all the weapons that a lot of quarterbacks could wish they had, and even the coaching staff. I mean, if you compare their playbook to ours, that's why Hollywood left, because he saw that they have a better coaching staff, they have a better system. That's why he left. So if you compare all that, everybody would pick Arizona versus the Ravens. And Kyler Murray has all that and he doesn't succeed. So you went from one bad situation to a whole nother bad situation because you got very impatient. You're, you already could see that you, you pretty much made a mistake on that. And yeah, man. So now you're going to have to start off this season not... The way you wanted it but it is what it is right but anyways guys that's the end of this video make sure to like subscribe and comment down below what you guys think about marquise brown's decision to leave the baltimore ravens if you think it was worth it if you think he's gonna have any success this coming season or if you just think that was a bad decision let me know in the comments and make sure to share this uh video and also the channel so that we can grow this channel together. Alright? So I'll see you guys in the next one.